Hello everyone! Welcome back to another time to open. My name is Seizabu and today is a special kind of video. Today is the grand finale of Crown Zenith on the channel and I know I know I've been talking about it on different videos if I was going to do a one-parter or a two-parter but today we're going to just whip it all out there. Here is the shiny Zamazenta box in the shiny Zacian box. We're going to be opening up both of them today. So big they can't even really both fit on the camera. We're going to be taking a look at both of these boxes today. They each have 11 packs in them, some sleeves, pins, a shiny promo, and a shiny statue. I never really actually got the shiny legendaries in Sword and Shield. I don't know how you get them. I think that there was a special promotion. Maybe it came out on GameStop, and maybe I do have them. I just need to go back and look. But we're going to be checking these out today in card form. It's going to be great. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm giving away a Violet ETB, came from GameStop, and I'm hoping that there's some lucky cards in here from one of you all watching. I want to thank each and every one of you all for watching. A like and even a comment or just watching goes a long way for the channel and really shows your support. Make sure you're also following on Instagram too. If you're following me on other social media, you'll get an extra entry for when I roll names for whoever's going to win this. So let's go ahead and get started. We're starting off with the Zacian box. We're going to rip this bad boy open. It is thick. Although it's very pretty, we have to get what's inside because I need those packs and I need to try to pull the, I think it's the Arceus Gold V-Star card and the Garantina. I think that's like the last two big cards that I truly need. Pulling that out, the promo. Here is Zacian V, shiny. Oh, I'm loving these cards. Very cool. I don't know if this is still valid or not, but here is the code. I think that it was actually just the regular TCG uh, game that went out, but this is for live, so it should work. We then have our blue Zacian pin, which I am going to be doing a pin video soon, so make sure you're subscribed for that too, so you don't miss it. Then we have the awesome statue, which the sword is bent a little bit, but uh, still really cool. I don't know where I'm going to put him. I might put him in the background. We have our awesome sleeves, which a lot of people think that you know they are the same. But uh, here's Zacian Sarni on the top, and then if you flip it, it actually has Zamazenta on the back. And then, of course, we have all of our packs. And we are going to uh, go ahead and open these up separately, so you'll get to see which hits came in which box. I did look up a list to see what all we're still missing. We need the Suicune, the Raikou. Um, there's a whole bunch of just the ones that make like a full like scene with the Pikachu and the Bidoof and I know that we need the Riolu for sure but this will also be the last time you see me doing the one two three energy too I'm gonna miss saying it on the channel uh, but yeah this generation has been really cool I believe we entered um, into Pokemon card YouTube openings uh, during the Sword and Shield era but onto a new era right oh my goodness we have shiny or radiant Eternius and then on the end, we have a Glarian Berserker. Nice first pack magic. Taking the time to reminisce though about the Sword and Shield era, these, this series of cards, or this generation of cards, uh, got me into Pokemon card opening. I was actually born in 96, the year that Pokemon came out, so I was a little too young to truly collect the cards myself. And when I was a young kid, I was really more into just the video games and I remember just kind of collecting VHS tapes. But um, yeah, Sword and Shield, I'll always remember that it was the Galarian region that got me into card opening and uh, just some of the cards, you know, that I fell in love with. Oh my goodness, Absol, that is actually a new card that we needed. Looks like with all these cards, we're going to probably be able to complete that scene. On the end, we've got a Hollow Calrex. That Absol card's really cool. This era of cards also produced some of my favorite cards as well that I've pretty much ever seen, like that Sleepy Dragonite. Uh, I've yet to pull the Moonbreon, but that's a really good one because I actually like just the regular V more. Um, you know, the new uh, V stars with the Charizard and the Mewtwo and just some of those Eeveelution cards are, I think, just some of the greatest in the series. But I believe that I actually want to try to start getting some older uh, cards as well and uh, showing my journey and collecting those as well. I also want to try to go to more card shows. 
I've been meaning to go back to the Dallas Card Show as well, and then Collecticon. That's a huge one that I really need to try and go to. But with the Sword and Shield era ending, the channel also I want to go in a different direction as well. I am trying to see about doing like other reviews for other stuff. I know that my uh, Kingdom Hearts vinyl opening did good and of course Disney uh, Arcana is going to be coming out soon and I do want to try to incorporate more Disney into the um, into the channel. I did open up the Disney 100 Years of Wonder box and that was actually super fun and you know I, I'm very knowledgeable about Disney so you know I do want to try to put it on the channel more and um, kind of show off my knowledge a little bit. On the end, we have Zamazenta V. Very cool. I think we may have pulled this last opening with the hangers. I'm not sure. I think it was, though. But let me know uh, what you all want to see from the channel. After all, I am kind of doing this to uh, entertain you all as well. And alongside of just having fun. I also have been thinking about getting back into streaming as well. But I do want to try and do streaming on YouTube rather than Twitch sometimes too. Maybe about streaming more card openings, that'd be fun. But I would love to get my hands on an older set to open up for you all too because watching people open those up like on Whatnot and stuff, it's actually really cool to see some older cards that I missed out on when I was a kid. I also plan to try and get 151, um, that set that's coming out in Japanese. Uh, I saw a date, and I think I saw September 22nd, and I don't know if it's for America or if it's for Japan, but I am going to try to get some pre-ordered so you all can see me open it on the channel. It's going to be somewhat of an awesome feeling since I did miss out on uh, the base set when I was a kid. Got Tangela, got Bow Toy, a Reverse Pangoro, and a regular Tangela on the end, or Tangrowth on the end. Let's keep it on moving. I think we're about halfway done with this box. Still no gold cards yet. I'm really hoping though, if we do get a gold, it's not a Palkia or a Dialga because it would actually be a repeat. Shaman, which we need some more full art shamans. I love Shaman, it's my favorite legendary. Luxio, Emolga, Love Disc, Chatot, Yanma, Ponyard, we have a Reverse Potion, and a Tauros. Three packs left after this. There is the code. One, two, three. Energy. I might say this a little bit because it might be a rare occasion for you to hear me say that again. Rescue Carrier, Carnivine, Chat Dot, Galarian Mr. Mime, Sun Kern, Bidoof, Coughing, we have a reverse sun kern and a hollow ente. Still looking for that Kisuian Zoro that I've been unable to pull. I've been able to pull the Samurott like a thousand times, but I can't seem to pull that Zoro. There we go. Lunatone, Croc Rock, Energy Switch, Coughing, Bidoof, Sandalit, Purloin, Grubbin, the reverse. Lost Vacuum in an Enamorous. Can we get a gold card? Can we get something that we're missing and that's brand new? Let's see. It is going to feel nostalgic though, shuffling the cards whenever we do get older packs. Trekking Shoes, Grubbin, Sprelp, Wooloo, Helioptile, Pancham. A reverse scrub and a Belossum. And here is our last pack for the shiny Zacian box. Hopefully, the Zamazenta is a little bit better. One, two, three. Tossing lit energy. And here we go. We have friends in Hisui, Shaman, Trekking Shoes, Oddish, Seal, Cricketot. Aeron, Riolu, we have a Reverse Shinx. On the end, we have Friends and Hisui. I love this card. It is a repeat because I think I decided to buy it, but it is a very beautiful card. I love it. All right, let's end this with Zamazenta, shiny Zamazenta. This time we've got red themed instead of blue. 
here's that pin it's very cool I actually do love Zamazenta's shiny we have his shiny card here is the code on the back for you all to enjoy good luck to whoever gets those here is his statue or its statue really cool really red you're gonna go right here beside your bud very very awesome we've got the same type of sleeves on the back you know technically if you reverse it like this the same thing I kind of wish though that they had put Zamazenta maybe on the top of this one and Zashi on the bottom but it's still cool and once again we have 11 packs left let's see if we can still try to get ourselves a gold VSAR card let's see if we can get some good first pack magic in the Zamazenta there's the code one two three we are swiping that energy and here we go we have carnivine rare candy Laron, glarian meow energy retrieval shinx larvista pawniard a reverse friends in Sinnoh, and rick plays a v we see this card a lot on the channel got another pack coming your way Come on, give me a gold, give me a gold. That's what I'm really hoping for. One, two, three, I think they got shuffled. There we go, yep, there's the energy. Carnivine, once again, Rescue Carrier, Lyron, Baltoy, Galarian Meow, Whalmer, Shinx, Larvista, a Reverse, Volcarina, and Tauros. Keep the party going. Here is the code but if I don't manage to get the gold stars or anything on here I may try to hurry and buy them before the price skyrockets I do still try to need and do a video on me trying to get all the uh, evolving skies hits that I missed going out and buying those but man it's gonna be quite the journey trying to get all the ones that I need out of that set not sure how many packs we have left after this but we still got some chances to get something here is the code one two three tossing the energy and here we go we have an ultra ball a giraffe rig a pinchurchin a glarian mr mime sunkern coughing oddish sandalit we have a reverse helioptile and an executor six packs left after this let's keep it going here is the code and we're getting rid of the energy. Please, no more Requazas. Please. All right. Bishop Arp. Digging Duo. Ultra Ball. Purloin. Love Disc. Chatot. Yanma. Pawniard. A Reverse Berserker. And Snorlax. This box has yet to give us any major hits. So let's see. We can keep going till we get some good stuff. Hopefully, though, we get something by the end of the pack. I'm really hoping for some fantastic last pack magic to end the Sword and Shield era. But let me know what you all think, too. Oh, goodness, we revealed a hit early. Here we go, we got Ditto right here. Kind of just slipped from up underneath me. And on the end, we have Leopard. We've actually already pulled the Ditto before, but oh, where's the Ditto? He's right here. I think our hit though luck has gone down because really in reality in the beginning of Crown Zenith we managed to pull almost every big card that we wanted to. I know that I pulled the Glaceon and the Leafeon like really early but let me know uh, what your favorite opening was in the Sword and Shield era on the channel or uh, maybe like in the series like you know what set was your favorite. A lot of people are probably going to argue with Evolving Skies. Um, I'm not really sure. Oh goodness, we have a V-Star on the end. What is it? What is it? What is it? It is Zamazenta again. I believe now we've pulled this card more than the Rayquaza V. Let's keep it going, not giving up hope just yet. But as I've said before, I have really enjoyed opening everything. And if you actually want to take a look at pretty much all of my Sword and Shield era pulls, I did uh, do a binder video that you all can check out. Uh, I don't know where I put it, but it's definitely 
and one of the cards you'll see in the top right corner. There's the Cherubee. We have Starly. And actually on the end we have a Hollow Energy. I don't think I even shuffled these right. One, two, three, energy. Maybe I did. Sometimes these Pokemon cards are like weirdly shuffled. We are in our final three packs. Like always, I'm going to pick the middle and see what we get from there. Wouldn't it be great if we just were pulling packs and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, even though it's the wrong set, we pull the Moonbrion? Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'll ever own that card on the channel, though, just because of just how expensive it is. But maybe. Maybe one day I can dream, right? Just as much as I want Alola and Friends. That card. Ah, oh, I love that card. But I've seen how much it costs, and it's, it's a lot. Got the Reverse Sandalit. Tangrowth on the end. We've got two packs left. I'm really hoping that that last pack is special though. I don't want to end the Sword and Shield era on a dud. Like I said, I'm sure this won't be the last Sword and Shield era pack that we opened, but you know, it still is the crown zenith finale on the channel. Got Brock Ruff, Aaron, Riolu, Starly, Scyther, Toxicity! Another cool, awesome hit. On the end, we have the hollow ditto reaching in to give you a big ol' hug. Alright guys, and this is it. Here we go. Our last Crown Zenith pack. We have the code. One, two, three. Energy. Pinchurchin. Great Ball. Bishop Arp. Whalmer, Shinx, Corfish, Seal, Rockruff. Oh my goodness, we've got a hit as our last card. I can already see it. What's it going to be? It's going to be Luminion, which we actually pulled in the hanger video. Luminion on the end. Yep, Pangaro. That is our last hit out of Crown Zenith as a full opening, Luminion. Still a very awesome and pretty card to end. But thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the support. I've greatly appreciated it. It's been an awesome two years of Sword and Shield. Let's keep going and pushing through with the Paldea region and all the sets that it has to offer. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, especially if you wanna try and win a Violet ETB for yourselves. And once again, like I said, guys, thank you all so much. Let me know what you all think in the comments, and let me know how you enjoyed the Sword and Shield openings on the channel. Until then, peace out, have a wonderful day, see you next time, bye!